I, I when I interviewed Chad, I called um, him and you the king of cliffhangers, and you guys <laughs> ended this first uh, episode of the season six. Yeah. Big. Yeah, it's a big, big cliffhanger. attack. Yeah, and it's. Brooke, what what's going to happen to her this season? You know, Jason, it's interesting because we're in our sixth season, but I really feel like we're still challenging our audience. And we've never been a show that has underestimated our audience. Now, one of the things I'm most proud of about this show is that we never let it become lowest common denominator. Right. We never went for mere titillation, or we mm. never m went for something that was extremely cliched or had been right. done before, but the fans would get it. Right. I think we've challenged them a lot. We challenged them with the handgun episode mm -hmm. when, we, when we shot a beloved series regular. Right. Um, and we're going to continue to challenge them this year. And I, I, I tell all of that because having Brooke get attacked mm -hmm. is challenging for right. our fan base. Uh -huh. You know, whether or not they were rooting for Brooke romantically with Lucas, right. she's a character they've spent five years with. Right. Right. And she's a really likable character. Yeah. So, um, again, it's challenging television, but I think the stories that we get and the drama that we get and and real life scenarios that come into play, you know, if somebody's watching this show and they've been a victim of violence in any way, mm -hmm. or they know of it, or they know of somebody, you know, I think that the show can serve a purpose to some people and it can do some healing for them. Right. And hopefully in this in journey that Brooke's going to take, mm -hmm. because she will survive this attack. Right. Um, but, you know, an attack like that is not only physically scarring, but emotionally scarring. And, and it takes, it, it takes a, toy, a toll mentally. I just feel like those stories are not only good drama, but I think they're healthy in the long run. Right, right. If, if that's why you're watching the show and if you need that healing, I think you can find it here. I'm also worried about her losing her company mm -hmm. that you sprung on us. Yeah, Victoria is back and yeah. she's a great villain. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, Dan is alive, as the fans know. <laughs> <laughs> but he's not exactly kicking right now. Exactly. Well, Victoria is kicking. Mm -hmm. And um, Hard. <laughs> yes, yes. And, you know, Daphne Zuniga does a wonderful job in right. that role. Again, you have to be, be a brave actor mm -hmm. to play the villain. To play the villain, And right, to push right. those buttons. Every yeah. actor, I don't care what they tell you, they want to wear the white hat yeah. and they yeah. want to win. They want to be They want to be heroic yeah. Yeah. and they want to, yeah. you know, lead the way. Uh -huh. And, um, look, I think that villains are important in this world. Mm -hmm. If it's all heroes, it's going to be kind of boring. Yep. yep. You know, Yang and, um, and all that. And Victoria will be around and she'll she's you know, she's a formidable oppo opponent for Brooke.